anyway, so I was thinking about doing a baked zucchini recipe, but then I realized that that just wasn't gonna work out for me, so, because it was gonna take too long and I don't have all day. So, yeah, we're not shooting, like trying to get my face right now, we're just trying to watch me chop up these mushrooms. Um, I love mushrooms. Um, I, I really do like to eat mushrooms. Like only one of my kids, one of my things out of all five likes mushrooms. Um, the girl may start to like mushrooms cause she usually like copies the nine year old. So hopefully she will like the mushrooms later. I don't know if I should just do this whole basket. I feel like I should just do the whole basket of mushrooms. Is this killing you watching me like slice? Can you see how I'm cutting them? Um, look, I'll try to, yeah, it, you know, really it just, I should just be focusing on cutting and you know, forget about it if you're really like able to see how I cut because I gotta focus because I'll cut myself. And then what will you do? Nothing, you can't do anything because you're not here. There'd be nobody, nobody's home. What if I like cut an artery or something? Nobody's here, nobody's here, you know, I'll just like, wrap it up and then I'll be bloody and like faint from losing all the blood and then I have to go pick up my kids and then the half cooked food is here and anyway so yeah I'm blabbering now sorry for the blabbering but you know I actually do enjoy talking to myself um which I think people in LA don't do as much I mean some people in LA do talk to themselves but they're usually the people outside um yeah in New York, everyone talks to themselves. So I lived in New York for a couple of years and I loved it because I felt like I was home. It's like all my friends were there because everyone was talking to themselves. Um, yeah, I was just there um, for New Year's Eve. It wasn't my idea, but um, my friends and I went to go see um, The Cursed Child. Oh my God, it was so good. I was like freaking out because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Um, and that actually was like great, but I wasn't excited to spend New Year's Eve there. But you know what? Let me tell you, it was the best New Year's Eve I've had in years. I mean, years. Okay, so still cutting the mushrooms, cutting the mushrooms, cutting the mushrooms. All right, so get these babies. You know, I, I, I wanna say like we want them small-er-ish, small-ish, um, because the leaves are kind of small. And I figure like these mushrooms should probably go in first because they're thicker. Look at, I just made those. Can you see? I don't even know if I'm doing this so you can see. Um, I think the mushrooms should go in before the leafies because the leafies, um, Oof. Okay, this is a full bowl. It's a full bowl. The leafies are very thin and fragile, right? Do I gotta rinse these too? I should probably rinse these. Too. Okay. I'm gonna get some leafies. I think I'm just gonna rinse the leafies like this. You wanna come with? You can come with. Here we go. Look at it's a party. Yay! It's a it's a leafy party. Oh dear, things are falling already. Well, we'll just pick those leaves up and throw them in the trash. So. Leafies, all the little leafies. All right, leaf. Oh God, they're like, these leaves, they know that they're in for something and they don't, you know, I'm having a problem here. Like I'm losing all my leaves, hang on. I could leafies in here. I just know that this isn't big enough for all of my leafies. It's not, it's not big enough. No, how am I gonna do this? Ooh, I have a great idea. Okay, everybody, everybody have a great idea. Okay, it's not big enough either. Darn it, this bowl isn't big enough, nothing's big enough. I, you know what? I think I could be a so much better cook if I had things to help me. <laughs> okay, um, yes, let's just blame it on the fact that I don't have, um, I don't know, the proper knife stuff things and um, you know, forget about the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, it always kills me because, listen, I, you should come to work with me. You know what? I have a great idea. I'm going to make this, and I'm going to take it to work, and I'm going to have my gymnast taste test it. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, the funny thing with my gymnast is, oh, this isn't draining. 
is, um, you know, they're healthy. They're very healthy eaters. Um, I have one that's a great cook. Um, she's always sending me pictures of, like, all this gourmand stuff that she makes. But she's very, very healthy. And, you know, they're, they're athletes. So they have to be healthy, right? Okay. All right. There's so many leaves in this sink. It's ridiculous. So come on, friend. Come on, friend. Come with me. Da, 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 da. All right. We are going on to the stove. So I'm going to put some olive oil. Oh, you know what? I have the recipe. Hang on. Don't rush me. If you don't rush me, don't rush me. So I wrote it on this thing. Um, let's see. Rinse the stuff. Smash the garlic. I haven't done that yet. Look at me. Not following directions already. Um, smash the garlic with the side of the fowl. I'll do that after. Mix the thing and then set aside. Oh, I got to mix the cornstarch with water. Look at that. I've skipped two steps already. I'm so bad. Heat oil. How much of the oil am I heating? Two tablespoons of oil. Okay, two tablespoons of oil. Um, what's two tablespoons? One second. Two tablespoons. Um, yeah, I don't have a thing. How do I know of the two tablespoons, everybody? Hey, everybody, two tablespoons. What could two tablespoons be? I'm just gonna be creative. Look at me go with the two tablespoons. I'm turning this on high, and I'm gonna get one, two tablespoons, because this is a tablespoon. This really doesn't look like enough, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. Ha, <laughs> it's olive oil, everybody. It did say use peanut oil, but I think I might be allergic to peanut oil. I'm not sure, actually, but I'm just, I'm allergic to a lot of things. Um, sometimes I don't know until like, I smell them or I taste them and I'm like, ooh, no, this is not fun. So, um, yeah. Okay, so let's rinse this off and that's getting hot now. Uh-huh. That's getting hot, everybody. Look at me wiping the spoon on the little thing. Okay, so this is now clean. What I didn't do yet is I haven't done the garlic, so we're gonna let that get hot because there's not much I can do with that until it gets hot. In the meantime, okay, it said smash it. But look, I have to peel it first, right, everybody? So we cut the ends off. Oh God, that's starting to make noise over there. Cutting the ends off of the, the garlic thing so I can peel it. When I was a little kid, every year we do this Percy spaghetti. So you have to, we have to all like chop up parsley and truffles and garlic and, and it's like the best, most delicious spaghetti ever. Well, I never liked it as a kid, but I like it now that I'm an adult. Oh, okay, things are crackling. So we've got to make a move. Um, it says smash it. I'm not sure what the smashing was necessary for, but you see, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting. Oh boy, I need to go get that Captain America shield. I don't know why it is no longer in the kitchen. I think it's because I didn't plan on cooking anything with hot oil for a while. You know, I mean, who plans to cook things with hot oil on a regular basis? Surely not me. I like my life and I like my face and I don't want hot oil in my eyes. So, oh God, it's really making noise. Okay, I've got to get this garlic chopped up. See, the thing is I'm Thai and Italian, so garlic doesn't bother me. I like it, the garlic. Oh, there's also a Percy lentil that my dad makes every New Year's and he's like now taught my brother to make it because I am a hopeless case. Rude a little bit, but you know, also true. So I guess there's rudeness and truth. Um, no, truth and rudeness, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Just, I'm just trying to mince this. So when that oil is hot, I'm supposed to throw these minced up garlics in there. I'm gonna bring, I can't bring you, wait camera, I'll have to come back to get you. Um, oh dear, I'm like losing pieces of garlic everywhere. Whoa, wow, all right, okay. So we're gonna get our garlic in here. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I should turn the fan on. I think my kids usually would tell me to do that. I totally miss the trash can. Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna clean it after because I don't want my hands to get all gross right now. I need a thing. Which thing should I use? To, I need a thing to cook it. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I guess, this thing. And I'm just gonna, it says to get this stuff brown. So I haven't mixed the cornstarch in a thing yet, nor have I done the soy sauce. Oh, sparkling. Haven't done the soy sauce yet, um, but this is brown. 
and uh, so does being slow and not prepared very well. Okay, this is my life. You see, if I would just follow directions, my life would be so much easier. I think so maybe like someone needs to like crack a whip and tell me to follow directions, meaning in the order that they are laid out because, um, you know, you just pick and choose and it doesn't always, tablespoon, I don't even know if I gotta do a tablespoon again. Um, what is this, two teaspoons, okay. Teaspoons, okay, so it's not quite as much. It's not quite as much of a tablespoon as a teaspoon, but I have a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna, okay. And then it said to put a bit of water in here just so I can dissolve it. Oh, well, why, what is cornstarch for? Oh boy, burning, it's burning. Yep, my friends are burning, guys. Oh, I burnt my garlic. Okay, the garlic is now burnt, it's burnt. I'm just gonna go with it. We're gonna, do you see? Okay, I can't, sorry, I can't show you right now because I've gotta start putting my veggies in. <laughs> okay, okay, it's really, um, yep, everybody. Oh, okay. That was really scary. It warned me that it might do that. Um, and I didn't really believe it. Let me tell you, it did it. I feel like there's not enough. Am I loud enough right now? I feel like there's not enough oil in this pan. Or maybe the pan's just not big enough. And I'm supposed to take the moisture off of the leaves so it doesn't spark. I did not do that. So I'm risking the sparks of the moisture from the leaves. I knew that I was supposed to science. Science. But I just, stubborn, stubborn, didn't, didn't. Okay. So we're just going with this. And what did Soda say? Soda said, I need to put the mushrooms in first. Soda didn't put the mushrooms in. But you know what? This is all kind of like, I'm gonna survive. I'm a survivor. All right, let me tell you something. I may not be the best cook, but my hair almost caught on fire. But I'm a survivor. Okay, all right, here we go. So what I'm gonna do, guys, look, it's a change of plans. I'm gonna make this work, though. I'm gonna make it work, uh, you know? It is what it is. We are where we are, right? We don't always make the best choices in life, but you know what? The ultimate best choice is working through the problems we have created for ourselves. That's pretty good. Isn't that pretty good? I thought that was pretty good. I just came up with that. You know, under stress, like, you know, sometimes greatness, great words can come out of being stressed. Why am I doing this to myself? Like, seriously, this is a lot of stress. Like, just so you guys know, um, my gymnastics team, is, we're having our first competition of the season on Sunday. Yeah. Tried to escape that guy. And um, I'm kind of like the unofficial chairperson of our like Southern California League. So people, you know, like I'll get questions or emails from other gyms and stuff. And, you know, like I, I help out um, new gyms kind of get situated and learn the, the like, sometimes I make up routines for them, things like that, right? And help them out. And the, the irony is I'm always the last one to register my own kids. I'm like, seriously, I'm the last one to get my own kids' routines put together. I'm just a hot mess. I really am. And then, you know, I expect to win. So, yeah. I'm in a great mood right now. The girls have been kicking some butt at workout. I had an, um, one of our old coaches stopped by last night, and he's like a big brother to me. And um, anyway, it was really exciting that he stopped by, and he was watching the girls, and he just patted me on the back, and he said they look good. And that's all I needed. Like, dang, my girls look good. I don't care what anyone else says. He told me my girls look good. And yay. So yeah. I actually know they look good. They do. They do look good. I always have the, the like cutest, smartest girls on my team. I think that's a, oh no. I'm scared. Don't let me get burnt. Okay, good. That leaf tried to escape. Um, actually, this doesn't look bad. But I know if I put the mushrooms in to try to cook it with the mushrooms right now, it's not gonna be good. So I'm supposed to put some soy sauce in here. But I, okay, I don't really know what I should be doing with these mushrooms. Should I, maybe I'm just gonna do it. Okay guys, I'm just, here we go everybody. 
I feel like it needs something. You know what I feel like it needs because I like feel like everything always needs butter. I feel like it always needs a little bit of butter. But I wasn't, that's not in this recipe. Should I just like fake it till I make it? All right. You know, it's veggies. Like, how can you go wrong? Right, do I see? I'm sorry, I'm a bit far from you, but I don't want, you know, I don't want you to get killed from the sparks of the oil. And the, the oil has calmed down. It's calmed down. So what's gonna happen here, science, see I know science. What's gonna happen here is that uh, my, I wonder if I can make this higher for you. Um, oh, look at that, okay. Put it back a little bit so you can see what's going on. My leafy things are gonna get soggy and my mushroom friends are not quite gonna cook enough. So they're gonna be a little crispy and I don't know if people like a crisp mushroom with a soggy leaf. Do you want, would you, dang, my arms look really big right now. We, I worked arms this morning. I did work arms. I wanted to box, but my left shoulder is like wonky. Robert, I'm coming for you, man. Wait, he's not on that show. But anyway, like, dude, look at that. This is not bad, really. This isn't, yeah, oh, I never mentioned. So two years ago, all my kids finally were all in school, and I decided to, um, start working out. And, um, cause I was really like 40 pounds overweight for like eight years. And, um, within 10 months I had lost that 40 pounds. And then the next 14 months since then, I've just been working on like toning and, um, you know, just living a better, healthier me. I love cake. I love cake. Um, I, uh, I like, I like desserts. I do so much like desserts. Oh man. Um, anyway, it's, I'm calm now because do you notice this is like calming down over here? I can, somebody tell me what's the cornstarch for? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the cornstarch. Oh, water everywhere. I'm just dripping stuff, guys. Stuff, I'm dripping stuff. Can somebody, I need to, okay. All right, it's, I'm a mess, just, it's a mess. Um, and I'm touching my hair, so I, this can't, right? Cause I can't be touching, and, but I'm not touching any more food. I'm not, not touching the food. Need to put some soy sauce. They say they want sugar. I don't really want any sugar, but I can put a bit of soy sauce in here. This is not soy sauce. Um, I don't, uh oh. Well, friends. I'm a little concerned. Oh, good, here we go. I mean, like, that would be really bad if I didn't have soy sauce. Just a little, they said three tablespoons. I need my table spoon. Here we go, tablespoon. I don't really think I need that much. Do, you, do I need, I feel like that's gonna be way too salty. Since I started being like eating more healthy and being aware of what I'm eating, when I go to restaurants, everything's too salty. Like, I sound like my parents. No, my grandma, like when we used to go out to eat, my grandma would always be like, oh my God, everything's so salty, right? Cause she would always cook at home and everything in restaurants tends to be salty. That was a weird accent. What was that accent that I just had right now? Um, now, I, this was dissolved and now it's not, so I've got a, you know, the cornstarch thing. So I haven't, I'm just gonna put it on. I don't know what it's for, um, but it told me to do it. So I do it. Um, okay, so we're going, right? Like, things are happening. How do I store this? Does this go in the fridge now? I don't know, what do I do with this afterwards? Um, we're, we're going, it's something's happening here. You know, it's veggies, so I'm not afraid to try it. Like, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take it to work and have my kids try, my gymnasts. Do you think that'd be funny? I think that'd be cool. Okay. So, let's turn this off, everybody. I'm gonna get a close-up of this for you, because it, it looks pretty, it looks pretty, it's hot though. Like, I wanna try it, but it's hot, and my hair is like in my face. I really like mushrooms. <laughs> One second, it's really, it's hot. Good. One sec, okay, ready? I'm gonna try mushroom. Hot, it's hot, it's hot. Oh, it's so good. It tastes like a mushroom. 
I mean, with a little bit of garlic and a little soy sauce. Um, can I review it myself? Because it tastes kind of good. It's really, really, I don't think I should. It's hot. It's very, I mean, it's just a leaf, just one leaf. Ooh. Oh, come on. You watched me cook it, so it's not fair because you saw the problems that I was having, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. I'm really excited, like totally excited. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pack it up and I'm gonna take it to work. Um, oh, my secretary's not there today. She would so trip, well, you know, there'll be people there. Maybe I'll get one of my clients, one of the parents to try it. I'll find someone. I think I should make my girls try it. Anyway, okay, ba-ba-bum, laters.